I'm back. I'm here for another video because I don't know. I've kind of been kind of gone. Oh, before the before I continue, I just want to say that my lack of uploads has its reasons. One, I'm doing the city. Two, I am busy with other things offline. But I just want to share these custom paints and stuff I've been doing. But I'll go over them right now. I made this weird custom. I don't know why I did this. I'm assuming I was just bored, because I don't think I would have made this otherwise, but this is a custom fat Godzilla. He's a chunky boy. I don't think you've seen anything chunkier than this. Um, yeah, I didn't sculpt teeth. I thought that would have looked weird, but I don't know. This kind of looks just as weird. Dry brushed it with gray, and I don't know. Here it is. It's a very fat Godzilla, a squishy one. Merp. Yeah, there isn't much to go over. And if I compare, he's very tiny. He'll be Godzilla's ugly, annoying son. I have a character arc now. So a while back, I did this custom paint Godzilla that I thought was good. Uh, it's it will forever be my first, so I'll remember that. But yeah, he just he's just something. But I did another one, and I think I did a way better job. Here it is. Uh, I think he definitely is better than him, so you can, uh, you can rest now, Toby. So, articulation is the same. I didn't change that. Um, hands, legs, jaw, which for some reason is very, uh, how do I say it? It's very strict. Like, for some reason, they put some more Wave 1 figures, and these new ones had very hard-to-move jaws, and the battle... Like, I'm not even going to open that, and I'm not even going to move that, just because of how hard it was, so I'm leaving that. Tails, ball joint. But, the custom paint. So you can see, I colored it black, uh, and then I dry-brushed it with gray. I think I did an amazing job, but I'm really proud with this one. I think I did a really good job with this. So, yeah. I think I did a good job. This one's definitely better than the last one. Um, there's the eyes, yellow, and white. Um, if I open the mouth, it's red, but it's got some dry brushing of black to make it look dirty. It's the chest. I'm not even going to open the um, battle damage. There's everything else. There's the spines, which I think were the best part. They look kind of skeletonish, like skeleton. So yeah, I also liked it on the legs over here. Yeah, I really liked it. Overall, I thought this was a really good custom paint figure, especially compared to my last one. This one is definitely an improvement, and I'll be doing more like these ones, so stay tuned. Another custom, this one's not done yet, but it's like an atomic breath. Uh, the old Atomic Breath custom I did isn't here because I am using it for this new one. But here it is basically, I, um, that's a lot of blue. You can tell there's a lot of blue. It's very blue. So yeah, that's really the only difference so far. I dry brushed it with some gray as well, but it's not as um, highly noticeable as my last one. But it's there. And the chest is also blue, gills, eyes. If I open the mouth, um, yeah. And that's pretty much this custom. Custom Paint Kong. I didn't actually do much. Um, I actually... Not much was done. Uh, I cut off some plastic in his fingers to fit the axe better. Um, the I kind of made him more red because the brown was... It was kind of way too old for me. Did some little lines. Painted the inside all black. Well, kind of. And the eyes. Bad, but I'm going to leave them like this for now until... I find another way to do them or upgrade them, but yeah. I also did some fire effects that look like Cheeto puffs or Cheeto balls. Um, yay. And the last thing, which is um, besides the Godzilla, I, ju I just can't get over this dry brushing. It really amazes me. I think I should do more of these. But um, for my last custom, my second favorite is the Axe. And uh, I changed a lot of stuff. I didn't just change the um, the like colors, but I'll go over the colors first. You can see that the axe is this very shiny blue. It's very shiny. I'm very proud of how I did it. So yeah, there's the blue, shiny, shiny blue. 
Um, the wrapping that wraps it is dark brown. You can see some blue goes through it because that's how it is in the movie. And I colored each line black. Glossy black so that it stands out. Um, and the rest of the bone is just this very old yellowish brown. Yeah, like here you can tell. On the body, I dry brushed it with black. That, that was cool as well. Same for the top and the band-aids. I also did that. But obviously you were noticing something, and that's because I thought the original axe's um, blade was kind of too stubby. So I cut off some plastic and I sharpened it, and it hurts. Like, ah, you can see it does that, and if I, like, I don't know if you can see, but it leaves a mark. Um, I'm really happy that it's sharp now because it looks more movie accurate. Um, yeah, it's just very sharp. Oh, you can see it there. Um, yeah, you can see how sharp this is. It's literally doing this. And then just this blade is sharp. I cut this off. And then I made the little bone skinnier to fit in Kong's hand. And I cut some plastic off here to make it look more like a bone. And yes, it fits in Kong's uh, hands. Uh, I'm going to put it in right now. This is the way I put it in. If I'm doing it wrong, please tell me because this is how I've been doing it. And it's kind of hard, but I'm not seeing any other way to do it. But yeah, here's his axe. I really like it. It looks really nice. And it definitely looks more movie accurate, more shiny, more brownish dark, and very sharp. Oh yeah, those marks are coming back and they don't really look good. Kong's axe is a poopy head now. Uh, uh, movie accurate city to the Hong Kong. Um, if someone has like a link to the full battle or like full Hong Kong battle, because I've been looking on YouTube, but they cut out scenes and kind of put in gray colors and speed up the scenes and stuff. Obviously because of copyright, but if someone has like a link to the full thing, can you send it? Because I want to get movie accurate, but I don't really have that many screenshots. But I am doing it, and again, a stop motion is coming soon. So thank you for watching. These were my custom paints and custom figures, and bye-bye.